happy weekly walk Wednesday, folks. I thought in honor of my original home state of Texas and the crazy weather they're having, I'd rock my Texas hat today to show my support. I hope y'all are staying safe and that things get better soon. On the weekly walk front, this week I catch up with Selvam Ratina Sapati, who's the CIO at Kind, yes, like the bar, and we talk all things acquisition as a CIO, how the pandemic really changed the snacking industry last year, and what Kind had to do to combat that, and of course, what Selvam's favorite Kind item is, and the one that we should all get to the store and buy. So check out the walk, and we'll see y'all soon. Bye, guys. Hey, Weekly Walk viewers, uh, Sal Venom, I am here. I think you're my first CIO of 2021, so we're setting a very high bar. But I am here with Selvam Ratina Sabapati. Did I pronounce that correctly? Perfect. I went, I went quick. And you are the CIO at Kind, like the bar, which is really awesome. I'm excited to hear more about, about all of that. But yes, thank you for joining me. And, and, you know, I know you're not somewhere tropical, but looks like we're both somewhere tropical right now. So <laughs> That's not these. That's in New York. No. Yes, New York, global warming really taking New York to the next level in, uh, exactly. in February right now. So awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And um, Kind was recently acquired by Mars. And, you know, Mars, most people know as more on the kind of candy side of the house and obviously, you know, breaking into more of the snack side. But, you know, in your role as a CIO, and, and you've obviously been through acquisitions prior to this one as well, what does an acquisition entail? What does that look like for you and your team? So in, uh, I'll, I'll briefly give the background so the you know, yeah. context helps. So Mars is a $40 billion you know, privately owned company. Kind was privately owned company, right? So we mm -hmm. entered this partnership about three years ago. It made sense. Both are private companies with a long-term vision. We don't have the street pressure like a lot of public companies have. And our missions and values were extremely aligned. Mm -hmm. So as you mentioned, as of December, Mars completely acquired us. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a really interesting um, scenario where... We are small enough, we can run fast, and Mars is big you know, enough to have the scale. So we are trying to take advantage, learn from each other, both you know, how do you run fast and, and take advantage of the scale that they have, right? In yep. terms of technology investment, in terms of, for example, artificial intelligence is something, Mars is a pioneer within CPG industry. We are trying to learn from them, how can we, how can we take advantage of? And some of yep. our uh, operation model really gives us a speed, which Mars is learning from us. So it's really a good, good setup. Um, like any acquisition, right? It comes down to trust. Um, yeah. How do you trust each other? How do you trust each other's team? Yeah. And um, luckily, we've been working with Mars for the last couple of years in various different scenarios and collaborative, you know, collaborative sessions. Yeah. So we have established that trust. So it's it's so far so good. That's that's great. And I feel like I mean I well I suppose maybe less than the pandemic, but I'm like the the snack scene at those meetings must be pretty epic too between Kind and Mars coming together. You guys can lot it lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, see, Mars people uh, uh, refer to us, you know, candy company, as you said, but most people do not know. Most of the revenue comes from pet care. Um, oh. They're a huge pet care business. They have a huge okay. food business. Um, so we are, oh. they, you know, they, they are looking at Kind uh, as kind of the platform for the health and wellness um, oh, tech for the future. So we are, you know, we are pretty excited to partner with them. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Congratulations on that official acquisition. And then, you know, on the, the snacking um, side of things, I was reading and certainly, you know, people, the snacking industry changed in 2020 with the pandemic and, you know, how, you know, companies weren't in the office ordering, you know, huge quantities. I know, you know, we have Kind Bars at OpenView. How did you and your team support the changes in the snacking industry through digital experiences? I mean, I know you've got this whole build a box on your website, but what other, you know, things came into play because of how people were purchasing snacks? Sure. So like every industry, right? Every company has gone through a transition in the last year. We have our own share of experiences too, in terms of, you know, the product mix that's being sold, how consumers buy the product, the behavior, um, you know, they go to digital, they don't go to store as much as you could. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you were referring to, uh, you know, office, you know, people buying in offices, one of our major uh, source of revenue is people buying from the, you know, through the commute, right? From the 7-Eleven shop, yeah. from the convenience store, from yep. the, you know, train stations, right? So we had to really rethink our supply chain, our product mix, our channel, our go-to-market strategy. Um, again, as I said before, our agility really helped us last year. Luckily, we had made tremendous investment in our digital platform over the last two, three years. Uh, so we yeah. re-platformed into Salesforce. We have subscription model. We have fully integrated, you know, text 
you know, uh, you know, transaction, build your own box. So, you know, you can, you can, you know, build your own box using various kind bars or whatnot. Um, we launched a loyalty program last year. Uh, okay. We have a subscription program. Um, so anything you can think of in kind of a modern digital world, we had, we had those functionalities built over the last two, three years. Okay. Um, we had our best digital year, both in terms of our in-house wow. snacks.com platform, as well as, you know, Amazon's of the world, jet.com, Walmart, yeah. you know, .com of the world. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I was going to say, I always get my kind bars when I get on the plane at the airport. That's why. Yes. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> most people, that's how they recognize when they first try the kind bar, then, then they go for, you know, go to Costco or Walmart. Okay. You know, how can I buy kind bars? Yeah. So that's amazing. So you guys had all sort of the digital, you know, platforms in place pre you were ahead of your times. Head of the pandemic times. Absolutely, absolutely. It's it really took off last year. I mean, our subscription, you know, which is kind of where our primary focus is, uh, really yeah. took off. The place we are uh, going to invest a lot this time is you know B two B e commerce, right? To your point, mm -hmm. offices, universities, sports teams. You know, how do we how do we you know bring them to our digital platform? And and yeah. honestly, our, our vision is not just being an e commerce platform, right? How do we bring more content, more yeah. uh, users to the site where they can have a you know full blown experience? Yeah. Well, now they're going to see you on the weekly walk and know to go to <laughs> the kind website. <laughs> Kindsnacks.com. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And my last question for you is, I mean, I, I imagine you get this all the time. I think the first time I, I, we had ever chatted, I asked you this. What is your favorite kind item? What should we all go out and try? If you could narrow all, it down to one. All hundred of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a lot. Uh, okay. It's 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 really fun to work. For. This is my food, first food company. So I, when I first started, every one of our conference rooms, you know, every nook and corner, we have a jar with kind bars, and yeah. I keep on trying every couple hours, right? So now I mean, you can really try uh, all, all the products. Yeah. Um, recently, we launched. I mean, as challenging year as it was last year, we uh, innovated like anything last year. Like we came up with a cereal, we came up with the oatmeal. These are brand new mm -hmm. platforms for us. Yep. As a parent, I always complained uh, that, you know, cereal has a lot of sugar. So we actually yes. stopped buying cereal three, four years ago. Okay. Uh, my kids always fight back. I'm like, no, we're not buying that. I was yep. so excited when we came out our cereal and oatmeal. And those okay. two are my biggest. Uh, I'm a huge fan of those two products. It's, okay. it's nutri you know, nutrition dense, a uh, lot, lot less sugar okay. than what's available in the marketplace. And it's okay. really fulfilling. Okay. So now you let your kids eat cereal again. Absolutely. Kind cereal only. All right. So, so everyone, I'm going to the grocery store later. I promise I'm going to check it out. So everyone and everyone check out, uh, check out kindsnacks.com and Selvam, thank you for joining me and being CIO number one of uh, 2021 and weekly walk viewers. We'll see y'all soon. Bye guys. Thank you, Cassie.